Just a quick video to show you what I got from one of the charity shops. They have a shelf in there and it's the last chance salon, if you know what I mean. Um, last chance saloon even. <laughs> um, they put everything on there for 30 pence. And as you can see, I've got two very big meat plates. These used to cost an absolute fortune. I think the Victorian. This one's got a number on it. But this one has got the maker on. I'll just turn it round. If you can see that. Let me just get it to focus. There we are. Imperial Porcelain. Bishop Stonia, England. And it's called Gladys. Now that made me smile. Because I had an Auntie Gladys. So, <laughs> there we are. So they were 30 pence each. Two meat plates and Cornish ware. Now this was made at Church Presley originally in Derbyshire. So that was a lovely find. Uh, also, um, transparent, um, well, it's like, a, it's almost like a fablon if you can remember, but um, it was a pound and it's great on, even shed windows we've put it on before and it looks really good. Um, then I got this because I love glass beads. If you need a glass bead for something and in the craft shops, they can cost a fortune for each bead. So, whoops. That was 50p. And the beautiful little beads. I think that one's my favorite, that one there. And then I got the Santa. Handmade Santa, 10 pence. Amazing. And that was the little fairy that I think I showed you in the last video. And you can understand why I got it. If you like things like that. And that was in the bag. All those were 50 pence. And look at the Brussels sprout. That looks like it's been done at a... Um, little pottery or something because it is actually pottery wear and it, all the leaves are separate so very happy with that and very happy that i've saved these three items can you believe it 30 pence each and people go to ikea for things and buy white i just can't get my head around it but we're all different aren't we that's what makes the world okay bye